Hi guys, Courtney Kidd here from the Floyd County School of Innovation. And I'm here to talk to you all about my ARI grant and the completion that we did for why it matters a look into real life biology. So real quick, just kind of the general idea of what I'm gonna be talking to you all about today. This is the basic idea and the premise for the start to finish for this project. This was something that we were able to see from complete utilization um, with the exception of a couple of items that we had purchased that are still back ordered, but a ton of grant and action work to talk to you all about. This is one I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, the, oh, I'm sorry. The big idea behind this grant was to actually get us the funding so we could enhance some of our regular courses. Um, being a CTE school, a lot of times we only think that people are focusing on those career and technical pathway courses. But one big point of emphasis for us is aside from looking at just the career prep, we're also prepping students for their regular graduation requirements. We're prepping students for college if need be. It gives them that exploratory time. So one intentional thing that we are doing with content here at the School of Innovation is we're working to build confidence in areas so students can make connections between material that's going to better suit them when they go into like future classrooms or future jobs. So with this, um, what I used the grant funding for was to actually purchase quite a few lab sets where we were looking at like live organisms, like you'll see on there, it says studying the heart rate of Daphnia, um, coroner's reports, activities where biology students could do like urine and blood analysis. Um, the unknown substance labs are the ones that I was making reference to of still being on back order, full intention to use those. Um, but the company we used, Flynn, those are just out of stock right now. They're telling me that I can expect them in the next month. Um, and also some forensic aspects like ink inspection, fiber inspection, things that I could actually collaborate and team up with our healthcare and our law enforcement teachers and actually give those students that accessibility to talk about, you know, well, why does biology matter? Why does understanding health matter? It gives them that ability to see the real life attachment. Um, throughout the activities with this, we were looking more, uh, more at a um, direct connection with the students with the material um, for them to make those connections to see why things are important rather than just sitting, sitting in. Okay, we've heard that phrase a million times. We don't want the kids to sit and get anymore. We want them to actually engage with the content. We want them to work with the content. We want them to branch out and realize what opportunities are actually available. So many times I've heard those random comments from students about, well, the only thing that I can do is go into healthcare education. There's really nothing else around here. Having a school and having classes that focus on career exploration for these kids can open a ton of doors. And by opening these doors to forensic science and opening these doors to different aspects of like medical and biomedical engineering, that's what this grant actually appeals to is that emotional reach and that attachment to what is possible. A um, couple of things that you see in these pictures, this was a series of anatomy students that I did this with first. Um, we did kind of like a CSI activity throughout using some of these resources. So instead of just all right, learning anatomy planes and then actually learning and reciting words for different types of bones, it was more of an application process to where they were looking at anatomical directions for injuries that a person may have from an autopsy. That's actually the one you see in those two left pictures. And then on the right, discovering bones from a crime scene. How do we use those in science? It's not just an important attachment to learn the name of something, but how is it actually something applicable that's gonna carry forward in life? Um, another portion that we use some of the grant monies for in this, we did look and talk about like bacterial and viral infections. Um, you can actually see a picture there in the middle of me talking to the students about plating bacteria and how to isolate colonies. Um, and we made that connection to the material in this left picture with talking about glow germ, like on their hands, like proper hand wet washing techniques, what happens when doctors don't scrub in properly. 
Um, and we actually use those in conjunction with an activity, a pumpkinectomy. Um, I partnered with our agri agriculture teacher and our healthcare teacher. And we took this activity from start to finish, kind of like from a surgical perspective, all the way through the possible infections and then the agricultural purposes that could have led to having those infections. And you can see one of the young ladies here using the microscope when we were doing the pathology part of this. Um, another portion of this grant, we did want to get their hands on some real life like sampling and analysis kits. So we did some blood dropping, blood typing. Um, we also did some analysis for different chemicals looking from sugar testing to protein testing. Um, some soil sampling, but you can actually see them engaged not only in an individual setting, but in different aspects of classes, some in biology, some in an after school program, some in an AP class. So you actually see that that was partaking and it was cross curricular and reaching across our school. Um, assessment with this, again, the big thing for me um, that I take away from it. There is a lot of collaboration to give them that real life aspect, but the biggest thing is sustainability, okay? I understand that a lot of these materials are consumables, but at the same time, I realize that a lot of them aren't. Um, there are a ton of materials that we've actually been able to replenish, um, just purchase refill kits for, and those are things that we're gonna be able to use in like future years. I mean, like, Legitimately, the analysis kits that we purchased with the way that our population in certain classes runs, these are things that we could do four, possibly five times, and then again, recycle certain portions off to reuse. Um, my big takeaway from this one, instead of using just direct setup, I would like for future lessons to become more scenario based. Like I mentioned the pumpkin egg for me that I did with my two collaborating teachers. Um, I would like for all of this to be, become more case study, more medical mystery, more, more like unsolved cases. So the kids actually have to delve into the material. There's a lot of manipulation of thought. So initially by thinking about these and just saying it's real life science, um, I do wanna put that little bit of a twist on it. So it is more of a problem solving task for them. Um, any questions about this grant? Uh, feel free, guys, reach out to me, email me, contact me in some way. I would be happy to talk to you about some of the kits that we purchased. Um, I do have some favorites. I do have some that I would probably bump off the list just after seeing the way the kids interacted with them. Some were more interesting, um, but I would love to discuss those things if anyone is curious and looking into more real life applicable scenarios to use in classes. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the grant. Thank you.